love with racing. The new love, the new betting brand for racing fans. With exclusive markets, promotions, insights and content. That's better. Gamble responsibly. First, we're at the barriers with the two big ones. The VRC Derby and the Coolmore Stud Stakes. We'll start with the Coolmore. What a race this is, James. Three-year-olds down the straight. A lot of the fancied runners have drawn wide here, which, as we've seen of late, is, is probably the best place to be. Yeah, especially with this rain, Matty, and if the inside chops up, and, I mean, they generally go middle or outside anyway in the straight course races. Um, so, yeah, I think both the, the main fancies, uh, Jack and Owen in secret, have both drawn well out wide. Shark, your thoughts on the race? Yeah, oh, it's incredibly open. And you've got the Everest form represented here too as well, Lamb. We sort of, first look, you look at Jack and Oath, well, he's got to be in contention, but he has to peak for the third time this preparation. You factoring that in at all? I am, but I'm also sort of going on uh, home affairs running in the Everest last year and then came back to this race and won by three lengths. So there's a nice little Panels. nice yeah. little precedent uh, for Jack and O. And I'm not sure he'll be he'll be over the top necessarily. He's only fourth up. Uh, his runs have been quite well spaced. So I'm hoping they can go to the well one more time in this preparation. All right, let's have your uh, top three then for uh, the Coolmore. Yeah, I'm going with Jack and O on top. I just think, uh, look, there's not much between he and In Secret, but I'm sort of banking on that Everest run, just giving him a harder edge here in what should be a pretty genuinely run race down the straight. Uh, in Secret is the horse, the main danger there. And I've got uh, Bunos Notches. Obviously, that gig of kick form is uh, is hard to fault, and he, he loves the straight as well. So it's, it's going to be a cracking race. I've got Bunos Notches on top because yeah. I reckon that uh, that fact that's been down the straight a couple of times yeah. and giga kick form sort of I, I like to see horses that have already been down the straight and he's really fluent down the straight yeah. too he handled it with no issues at all and you know he's got the pretty good form he ties in with the everest too where did you land i landed within secret i'm just taking a little set against jack and o i'm just wondering about the 14 then to the everest and then coming back to this race so just going to take a slight risk on him I've got Jack, I've got in secret to beat uh, Buenos Noches, and I'm throwing Grand Impact in. He's the only unbeaten horse in the race, and he'll be up there in front. He hasn't had a horse head him yet. You know, we might not see one head him on Saturday. No surprises with me. I'm with the same horses, but Buenos Noches on top of uh, in secret and Jack and O in for third. All right, that's our Coolmore stud stakes. Let's get to the Derby. In past years, James, some of these derbies haven't been quality. This is a quality field and it's a deep field. Yeah, no disrespect to Johnny get angry, but we might, <laughs> see, we might see the winner of the derby go on to a uh, bit better things than Johnny. But, yeah, I, I think it's pretty... I mean, it always has a fairly long tail, the derby. There's horses coming out of country maidens and whatnot. But I think the top end of this race is really strong and the first probably three or four across the line might, uh, might be you know, in the Cups conversation next year, hopefully. And we've got multiple form lines coming into it. Multiple form lines, you've got also pedigrees, some say that they'll stay, others probably not. Pericles, I think it's very much take on trust with what James Cummings is saying because on paper it looks like he'd top out at a mile. Mm, Alright, you know uh, your top three then for the Derby? Uh, I, could, I couldn't go past Sharp and Smart, I just think the Spring Champion is probably the form line that I want to be with here. There's a few different form lines as, as Shark said, but I just like the way Sharp and, uh, <laughs> Sharp and Smart a mouthful. Uh, no, was, that's us, mate. We're sharp and smart. It was, uh, <laughs> <laughs> was wide throughout last time, but just kept coming. Uh, it was probably entitled to, you know, fade over that last 50, but just attacked the line. Uh, draws for a much better run here with J-Mac. He, he won't be wide. And I think Manzois is my third pick, but also coming out of the spring champion. I think he's the best roughie in the race at around $26 or thereabouts. He was probably beaten four or five lengths in that spring champion, but third fastest final 200 in that race and got back a long way from a bad gate. So... I think if you're having exotics, uh, don't leave Manzois out. And Berkeley Square is the one I've got in for second, just coming out of that vase. Shark? I want something that's going to really stick, Matty, particularly if it's a wet track. So I've landed on Miramasa at a bit of value. Okay. I loved his run at Caulfield with uh, Mr Maestro, just getting the better of him late. But to me, he looks like a horse that'll run the distance right out. Goes wet or dry, so bases are covered there. Berkeley Square is going to be very, very hard to beat. He's half to a horse that got the trip, Senor Toba. He's won to a good standard over a trip in Hong Kong, so I think that gives him a bit of, uh, a bit of strength there late in the race. Sharp and smart next. All right, that's uh, at the barriers with the Dark and the Coolmore. Coming up is our Melbourne Focus where the Group 1 racing continues. The betting brand for sports fans. That's better. Gamble responsibly.